Hey everybody, this is Joel Toppin. I just got a package in the mail from GMT. Actually, I got in the mail last week. I just now got a chance to actually open the package and uh, see the goodness that lies within. This is uh, MBT by James Day. Uh, modern day uh, tank to tank, platoon to platoon combat. Uh, hypothetical 1987 uh, tactical level game based on what might have happened in West Germany. So, okay, first of all, let me just comment on the cover. Uh, I was a big fan of the Avalon Hill edition. I have uh, limited space in my uh, my new house here, so I actually downsized my collection knowing that this was coming out. Uh, I did a go ahead and I reluctantly sold off my uh, original editions of uh, uh, MBT and IDF from Jim Day, so I'm hoping I'm hoping that they make a new IDF because uh, I really enjoyed that particular one. But well, anyways, here we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Oh, I know what I was going to say about the uh, the cover. The cover here is really kind of a throwback to the original Avalon Hill edition, and uh, it's done by Eric Williams, and I really like what they did with that. So let's go ahead and pull the cover off. And I should mention that the game is very heavy. Uh, it's one of the most uh, heavy boxes, uh, game, box game from GMT that I can remember in recent times. It's, there's a lot in here. So let's go ahead and see what is actually in here. This is actually my first uh, look inside. I haven't cheated. So this is all, uh, all fresh. Okay. First of all, we have some data cards for all the different vehicles. They're printed on pretty thick uh, cardstock, and there's vehicles on the front as well as on the back, as well as the NATO symbols uh, for them. So, kind of cool. Nice little top-down artwork, and then you got the NATO symbol up in the upper right, which is probably going to be useful when you get into the uh, organization charts. So here we go. One, two packages of these for the Warsaw Pact and then we got a bunch of presumably just American vehicles here because I think the uh, the West Germans and the uh, the British are going to be coming like separately so in expansion packs so here's US vehicles 1980s early 1990s a couple more Soviet vehicles here what's this guy it's a T72 AV Okay, so lots of data cards, nice thick stock. We've got a bunch of maps here. They're printed on something that is that is heavier than paper, but not exactly cardboard. It's hard to describe. I would say it's a little bit lighter in terms of its uh, its weight than the uh, the new style, aka starter kit style ASL maps. I'm a big ASL player, so I'll uh, I'll just say that these are just slightly lighter in terms of weight than the ASL maps. These are uh, geomorphic, the maps for the system. They are geomorphic, so you have map number one on one side and map number two on the other side. Okay, I see it. I wasn't sure if it was going to be a 1A, 1B. Uh, or how that was going to work. So, got one map, two maps, three, four, grand total of five of these map sheets. Uh, let me pause the video here for a moment. I'll lay a couple out so you can get an idea of the, uh, the size of those maps. Okay, so I laid out one of the maps here, and you can see here... Um, the, the approximate size of it, I would say it looks to be about as as, as long here as an ordinary uh, GMT map sheet might be high, might be like 22 inches. I don't have a tape measure with me, but it's um, it's a it's a fairly long map, and then it's fairly narrow. So you the, you presumably will put these together. Uh, again, they're geomorphic, so you can put them together in, in all kinds of different combinations. If you were to get two sets of these, you would maximize what you could do with them. 
because obviously you can't put maps 9 and 10 together because they're on the same uh, sheet. So for that reason, one might consider getting more uh, additional set of uh, the game to to have you have more com more combat pieces, but you also would ma you would double your what you could do with the maps. So if there's one downside I'm seeing right now. Uh, as opposed to, like, say, the ASL system is, uh, with ASL, the maps, there's only one side to it. Um, so you can always butt everything up against one another. Whereas with this, you really would have to get two copies of the game to make full use of all the maps. But you're, you're getting twice as many maps as you would with most ASL modules. So, alright, so that's the maps. Let's go ahead and take a look again here at the contents of the game. GMT baggies. I laugh at this because um, there's no way this is going to be sufficient to the cause, but I admire the effort. Got a set of D10s here. Uh, it's a decimal based uh, system with MBT. It's just like Panzer. If you haven't played Panzer, uh, or if you, excuse me, if you've played Panzer, this is going to be pretty much the same system uh, with, with uh, some new stuff for the modern combat thrown in. So decibel based system so there's your your d10s you got a bunch of charts here obviously what would be a war game without charts you got two sets of charts a lot of data on each of these there is a fair amount of chart checking with this game with this particular system so you got identical sets for each player there is a vehicle data card key here to help you to understand uh, the information that is imparted on the data cards double-sided so it's got information for your leg units crew served weapons and vehicles so there you are and again there's two of these one for each player and we got another one here this one's got for fixed wing aircraft data key helicopter data uh, card key again this is modern warfare so some new stuff there um, Right here you have the, the turn track, transport, summary, and hidden unit track. Uh, this is a way that you can handle uh, hidden units, what's uh, what's actually being transported on, on different vehicles, etc., etc. Um, I kind of wish it wasn't on the back side of this, but I get why they would do that. These, If there's one chart that you would have to look at very infrequently, it would probably be this one here. So that means you can use this or just make a copy of this if you wanted to, uh, you know, make full use of the, the charts. Okay, so now we come to the counters. You can see here, I'll just give you some uh, sense of scale. These are large uh, counters, and we'll put them down here by the map so you can get an idea uh, that these counters will fill those hexes. Um, these are really big counters. They almost look to be uh, full one-inch counters. They're, they're pretty large. So, you got a sheet of these. Double-sided. Does appear to be uh, nicely centered. Let me get it to focus here. Does appear to be nicely centered, so that's good. And they are the thick uh, brown core style counters. And we have... The mustard, or maybe a slight tan, but I don't know, seems like mustard color for the Soviets. Pretty cool. The artwork's outstanding. I love this. Very, very nice. And if you've got the original MBT, you know this is this is a huge um, graphics upgrade from the Avalon Hill edition. In terms of rules, I'm not sure what's going to be all that different. I haven't played MBT in in quite some time. Um, but it is definitely an artistic upgrade. So there you have smaller counters for the, uh, the infantry platoons, crew served weapons, and so forth. Neato, neato, neato. Okay, you got, you're going to have a set of markers here for MBT. So counter sheet four has got some markers on it. Counter sheet five, more markers. Counter sheet six, yet more markers. And uh, here's your here's your turrets for the 
So if the turret is facing a direction um, other than where the bow would be facing on the vehicle, you can mark that with the turret markers. I think they're different on the other side. Wow, these are easy to punch. Almost started punching the game there. Okay, here's the rule book. It's nice. All right, excellent. It is not the, uh, the glossy style. This is semi-gloss, which is definitely my favorite way to go. You have a reproduction of the cover art, of the box cover art here on the cover of the rule book. The basic rules to the game are really straightforward. Um, this actually, I think, is the playbook first. Yeah, this is the playbook. So all your scenarios and everything is in here. And there appears to be quite a few uh, scenarios in here. Setup information, organizational charts, uh, lots and lots of good stuff in here. It is 52 pages in length. And there's some stuff that you can photocopy on here in order to uh, make full use of the like optional rules and things in here. Okay, nine scenarios looks to be, nope, ten scenarios. Ten scenarios in the game. So, and this is a system which, I don't know, with MBT you could, you could make. They had like a design your own scenario system in it. I don't know if this is going to have it or not. I sure hope so. But it wouldn't be that difficult to do. Because you've got a lot of equipment here. And the playbook is going to have a lot of information in terms of well, what what constitutes, for example, a, uh, a recon section in a mechanized infantry battalion. So you have all of the information and it's a point-based system, almost like miniatures. So um, you really have a lot of information here to make your own scenarios. Alright, so we're still going into this box. Now I'm starting to get an idea why the box is so heavy. You do have a basic game rule book. And the basic game rules are really quite easy. There's a train key on the back. And you see this booklet is only 28 pages long. So, and of that, there is an index taking up a considerable uh, portion of it. There's a glossary. So really the core rules of the game are coming in at what 19 pages so and if you played panzer you'll probably pick this up really really quickly um, let's actually see i was going to see if there's anything for panzer players in here i don't really see any way you know for panzer if you played panzer here all the, this is what you need to do to uh to jump right in and learn the system. I don't see anything like that, but it, if you played Panzer, this is pretty much the same core ideas with just the modern uh, flavor. Okay, now the advanced game rules is a heavier rule book. It is weighing in at 72 pages. So you have substantial amount of, of uh, extra things here if you want to get the, the maximum use of the system and this was a system I used to be in uh, quite heavily. So there's 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 quite a lot here. I really, really loved playing uh, MBT and IDF back in the day. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Uh, I am not a Panzer player. I did get the system. Uh, I can't say anything bad about the system. It's just that I really enjoy playing ASL. And as I was playing Panzer, I realized that there's going to be this perpetual problem of rules creep where I'm importing rules back and forth. And because I, I really enjoyed Panzer above, you know, the other game, I decided I would just, I would just really stick with uh, the ASL system. So I sold off my Panzer stuff and uh, decided to stick with ASL. But for Modern Warfare, this, this is my baby here. MBT by GMT Games, they gave this a great uh, upgrade, and uh, it's a very impressive system. Looks like my box got a little, little beat up, but you can understand why. There's a lot of weight, uh, a lot of stuff coming inside the game here, inside the game box. And so, there you go. Well, I'm Joel Toppin, and that's what comes inside 
the box.